so hey you guys welcome back to my channel um as if i start this video here if not hey you guys so i'm just here checking in and letting you guys um you know catching you up uh for when i post this vlog of course because i said i was gonna start doing daily vlogs they haven't been daily thus far but i'm being consistent hey so just to like you know kind of catch you up in whatever um things have been going pretty good i'm not really sure where i left off because i don't really want to watch the other videos until you know i put this together so that i can like not be like oh i'm gonna cut that out or whatever anyway things have been going great so let me just start from now and work my way back so over the weekend um i went to my friend justine's one year anniversary party for her hair company yay justine her name is Ella on Hair. If you want to follow her on Instagram, she's a great stylist. She's a really, really good friend of mine. And um, I just love her so much. So, yes, yeah, just me. So, I went to that. And it felt good to just go to an event because I was kind of feeling like my mood all last week was kind of like just melancholy. It was kind of just like, eh, like blah, whatever. Um, I, I just really wasn't in... I guess I was in a good place, but I wasn't where I am now. So I'll just say that. And I just really wasn't going to go. But she had came around to my suite and she was like, hey, you ready for Sunday? And I was just like, uh, <laughs> no. But um, I was ready for Sunday because during the week, we're working our way back. During the week, um, I went like shopping. And I went to a couple of stores that I just haven't shot. I love online shopping. It's like my guilty pleasure. Like I just love it it's so convenient to like you know because i'm at work all the time so it's so convenient to like just have packages come home and you just try them on and, sh and it's shit there but i actually went to a few stores that i hadn't visited in a while since like my childhood because i like completely rebelled against them um, i'll insert one of the outfits um that um i wore um but i found some really really great stuff and i only spent like 30 dollars and it was just like oh, okay like all right be, be so online shopping because it probably would have been like triple that but i went um shopping with my best i mean my cousin and um it was just fun like i handed out business cards last week so it was like some really really great things happening last week but my mood still was like melancholy it still was like huh, like blah like it's that's, that's really how i can describe it but um anyway um things at the studio have been going so good people are really interested in getting their lashes done i've done some practice people and you know they like their lashes why wouldn't they <laughs> but yeah it was just super cool oh i did a photo shoot um that was amazing it was another hair company it was called true version hair um hair everywhere i'm not sure if they're the same people anymore i don't know but i work with the owner and i did a photo shoot for him i'll insert that picture in here somewhere i did the models i didn't actually do the photo shoot but the models came to the salon and i styled and put their wigs on and they looked amazing like they looked so bomb the picture went like viral everywhere it was everywhere people were posting it people were taking credit for it and i'm just like oh well it's my picture i don't care like at the end of the day when they find the source of the picture the true owner the, those followers will see it and know and people were sending me the picture like oh my god look this person posted it and it was like you know damn well you ain't post that or you ain't do that i did that but no things are just going so great and i just feel like i may have mentioned it before in the last video that i just feel like finally I just have something that I can work on, something that I can believe in again, something that like gets me up in the morning. I'm like, oh no, like I gotta, I gotta get up. Like I got shit to do. I got to get up. Like it just inspires me. Like that's that's why I even like went thrifting because I was just like, let me go instead of like buying trendy stuff and buying stuff that like everyone else has. Like let me go buy some stuff that I like that I find true value and that's gonna mean something to me that like kind of touches my heart when I get it. Like, like, even the candle holders is like I said um, I got them from Z gallery and I was, I'm gonna insert like a little mini tour of the not even a tour but just like a mini I guess haul yeah that's what it is <laughs> I'm gonna insert a mini haul of the things that I've gotten from the thrift store because now I've like placed them places and I, I didn't really do like the beginners haul or whatever because I was just excited to have 
furniture in my house and I'm excited that I even want furniture in my house because at one point I didn't want furniture in my house like I didn't want company I'm like no like I've had people sleep on my couch before I've had people stay in in almost every single space every single apartment that I've had someone has stayed in that space with me and I've never really had a space by myself so I really felt like that because I had so much room and I had so much space to offer which I still do if someone wanted to stay with me they absolutely could I would never you know leave anyone without somewhere to stay but it was just I just I needed a space that I could call my own and I just felt like if I didn't have furniture nobody would want to stay like no one would want to come over because they'd be like damn but it ain't got no way for me to sleep. We're going to be sleeping in the same bed. And it's just awkward sometimes, depending on who it is. You're like, I really don't want you in my bed. I really don't want you to stay tonight. But um, I said I wouldn't turn down anyone who doesn't have anywhere to stay. And if we got to share a bed, whatever. Just stay on your side. Stay on my side. But anyway, so just even now, because I want furniture and I just want things. I'm just like, I want to buy things that mean something to me that are things that I picked that can't you can't get anywhere else and I have them because I picked them and I put it together and made my vision come together like whatever vision that is like this is just the first space like I said that's my own but yeah and I got the wine rack I gotta show y'all the wine rack because I forgot as a matter of fact let me get the wine rack I'll just get it all right so Alright, so this is the wine rack and it's so pretty. Look at it. Like, I just love it. Like, <laughs> I just hope you guys can. Okay, there we go. Like, I just love it. It is like just a piece that you're not going to find anywhere else. You're not going to go in a store and go get this. Like, no one else can pick this. So, when I just wanted to get stuff for my house, it just. You know, I wanted it to be things that I love and I want and that like, you know, when you come in here, you know, this is my house. This is my space, but also still kind of designed in a modern way because I am, you know, a modern girl with vintage taste. All right. But anyway, so with the wine bottles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint the wine bottles. And like I said, I think I said, it on, I said it, I'm going to say it somewhere in this video, but I'm saying it again in case I missed it or it's not there. But I'm going to make them decorative and just make them bridgy fied Like, that's what I'm going to say. It's bridgy fied okay? Another piece that I want to talk about is this. This is, you know, a glass, like, plate, table, whatever. It's decorative. It's pretty. It's just, like, you know what I mean? I'm figuring out my space. Like, but, yeah, like, I'm just figuring out what it is that I like and I'm like so romantic and I'm just like glamorous bumps I'm kind of dressed down today because it's raining outside I had totally different plans okay I was gonna be dressed to the T this week but it rained I got caught in the rain yesterday and I will show you guys this leave out but it is disrespectful so absolutely not we can't have that I'm in a really, really good space, I guess. This is what I can say. I'm in a really, really good space. I'm just... So I was just discussing, like, with myself because we got to have those self-talks sometimes. And it's like, in this battle I've had with just depression and just being... Sometimes feeling alone or just whatever. It's like now, I think, you know, all the things that I'm depressed about, I don't have to be depressed about them. Like... At the end of the day, I'm anxious, you know, I have all this anxiety because, like, I'm anticipating for something to happen. Like, I'm preparing for something to happen in my life. And because whatever it is that's supposed to happen hasn't happened yet, I'm like, kind of, you know, I get discouraged and I get disappointed. Like, well, damn, it ain't happened today, so when is going to happen? But now I'm trying to retrain myself and retrain my mind and just my whole body to just be like, you know... We're excited. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited to be doing stuff that's going to get me closer to whatever it is that's supposed to be happening for me. Whatever great thing it is that's going to happen in my life, everything I'm doing now is, like, getting me there and it's preparing me there. And, like, I want to run with that feeling. I don't want to run with, oh, my God, I'm not there yet. Like, oh, uh, uh, you know what I mean? I don't want to be depressed and down about it. So I just want to make sure that I'm always 
in a good mood because that's the only way you know to get positive things you got to be a positive person you can't dwell on negativity and what you don't have so i don't want to do that anymore i'm going to discontinue doing that because now we're buying furniture like we're decorating i mean decorating we're decorating and we're getting decor and we're like personalizing things because things are just starting to mean so much more to me. Like I look outside and I'm like, damn, you know what? I be complaining. I'm just being so ungrateful sometimes. Like, you know, I could be, I could be outside begging on the streets. Like, you know what I mean? I could literally have my homeless sign and be out on the street begging for change. And I'm not because why I'm still working. I'm still trying. I'm just, I'm still trying, you know, but even in those ungrateful times, it's like, not being ungrateful. I don't, that's why I don't, I don't even want to call it ungrateful, but that, that is the word to describe it. So I want to put it in, I want just not recognizing the value in the things that I have, not recognizing the greatness that I, that I already have. You know what I mean? I'm not ungrateful about it. I'm, I'm, I'm ungrateful about me. Like I'm not really even appreciating me at this point. That's really what it's about. It's like you don't even appreciate you're being ungrateful for yourself, Bridget. You are an amazing person and you sitting here treating yourself like the bad guy. Like you sitting here getting so down on yourself and beating yourself up and punishing yourself for what? When you're doing the best that you can. You know what I mean? You're working hard and, and, I, and I'm doing whatever it is I'm supposed to do. So that's in the ways I mean when I say ungrateful. So it's like I'm just tired of being like that. Like you know, and in recognizing our own greatness, sometimes it's hard to do. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do because you don't want to feel like you're bragging on yourself. But you're not bragging on yourself if you're paying yourself on the back and ain't no, listen, don't nobody else pay no bills up in here, okay? I can sit here to you humbly today, just humbly appreciating things I got from the fucking thrift store, okay? Like, Z Gallery really has these for... I don't want to quote a price because I don't want to like send over the edge, but at least $20, like at least $20, $25, if not more. Like, and to just to get the both of these, like that one and the smaller one, hello, this just makes me so happy. Like, and I just can't wait to get a couch. Like, eventually, there will be a couch, and I'm not really sure not really sure yet but i might do a pop of color because oh, i'm gonna do anything else oh so i ordered lash samples go me they're on the way so um i forget who i was talking to but they made this little comment and it was like you know everybody who do lashes and i'm just like well why not why wouldn't i want a lash line like who doesn't but anyway so the studio lashes are coming they're on the way like the samples are in i'm about to be sampling i even sampled the um the lash extensions themselves so i'll have my own line of lash extensions that only students like that it's going to be so exclusive like you can only get these lashes at studio four when you get your lashes done so how dope is that yay our first really exclusive product i'm so excited and i really just can't hide it so like th this is what i mean when i'm saying like i'm trying to retrain myself to think of happy things like you know what look this is what you're doing like you're doing fuck you're doing amazing bridget like stop stop beating yourself up you're doing amazing like you're doing a fantastical job like i don't even know i don't think i've smiled this hard or this much in a while but I'm just happy your girl is happy and guess what and I ain't had to pay like, I don't gotta pay for this this type of happiness that you can't pay for nobody can pay for this you can't buy this you can't buy this this I'm gonna end this video here you guys I probably rambled on for enough but um you know I just I'm really excited to just be in a really really good space I'm really excited to just be expanding my business and really building it and, you know, just not being depressed anymore and not just beating myself up and getting down on myself because I, I have absolutely no reason to do that. I deserve to be happy. 
I deserve to be just as happy as anyone else. And that's what I'm striving for. I'm striving for happiness, not perfection. Excuse me. I'm, I'm trying to record. But anyway, I'm striving for happiness, not perfection. And I just hope that you guys, you know, strive for perfection too. And if no one has told you, I'm going to tell you, you are worthy. You are worthy of everything the universe is already conspiring to make happen for you so just i'm gonna leave you guys with that i love you if you're watching this video i send you my love big hug oh, oh, from me to you and i thank you for watching this video stay tuned i do hair makeup lashes and brows amongst other things i do styling i love fashion and you're about to just watch me grow and evolve my passion so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video or i'll see you in another part of this video depending on how the editing is done so thank you for watching see y'all later i'm out <laughs> I'm figuring out what it is that I like finally. I'm figuring out, you know, just ah, no. shit. <laughs> I was getting comfortable on y'all, you know.